Okay. Alright. So this is how it is, huh? This is how it's going to be. We're going back into the uh, the film grain, into the oldie worldy times. I guess that makes sense. Welcome to Layers of Fear 2. I played the first one on the channel um, a couple years ago, probably now. I don't know, I lose track of all knowledge and concept of time, especially during COVID hours, but prior to that as well, honestly, I, I just am not good at time. <laughs> it sure is good at me, though. I'm fast becoming a boomer without my uh, my opinion on the matter seeming to matter whatsoever either way. But my own mortality is irrelevant. Or is it relevant? Is it relevant? It might be relevant in this game. This, this game make, might make me ponder that a bit. But uh, regardless, this is Layers of Fear 2, as I've already said. Um, do I have anything else to say? Spooky games are fun. Um, and now that October is over and done with, thoroughly, a couple of weeks over and done with, we're out of the spooky season, so it's probably safe to play horror games again. It's probably safe. We're probably in the clear. So I'm going <laughs> to gonna do that. And uh, you can come along for the ride if you want. If not, you know where the the button is to, to stop watching this video. You're perfectly capable of that. You're a big boy or girl or other. Whatever you are, you're very good and competent and able to uh, choose your pastimes appropriately. But, if you're in for a thrill ride, and if you're buckled up for some, some happy horror times, then we'll go ahead and click new game, shall we? Uh, well, obviously I want to go on normal mode. Interesting that there is a normal mode and a safe mode. I don't remember super well because again boomer but from what i recall of the first one there was no actual real threat it was basically a walking simulator with scares and that was fine it was a, it was a decent enough horror game it got me a couple times but it's interesting that you can't actually like suffer in this game we'll see if that mm, affects the gameplay in any major way the ability to die seems like a pretty major gameplay mechanic, honestly. I like this little, uh, this little prop ocean that's going on here. This is interesting. This is something right here. I will press a button to continue for sure. Oh. Dirty, dirty corridor, huh? This is one of them dirty corridor games. This could be amnesia in better graphics, honestly. Oh, especially with that head bob. Oh, are we on a ship? Is this a Titanic sort of thing? Is that why there's water pouring from the ceiling? I assumed it was just raining real hard or someone had flooded the bathtub. I think we might be on a, on ye sinking ship. I think that might be what's going on here. In which case, I don't think this is going to be massively useful to me. I like this though. This is a cool drawing. Little tree house. Nice to see people like actually framing their kids' art. Putting it in a proper frame, hanging it up, making it something to be proud of. Sticking it on the fridge is one thing, but really giving it attention like that is... It shows that they have a lot of uh, respect for their children, you know. A lot of kid drawings being, uh, being framed around these parts, it seems. A common occurrence in the wibbly-wobbly world of Layers of Fear 2. At least there's, I've not been truly spooked by uh, by immediately entering a house and finding a shelf full of cinnamon or whatever the fuck it was. That, that was that was a thing that confused the fuck out of me in the first game, and we never got an answer for. It, it was just that the, the 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 guy whose house we were in was a massive collector of herbs. He just had massive vats of I I, I don't think it was cinnamon, but some sort of paprika possibly some sort of herb he just had it in huge amounts and there was never any real explanation for that that was the spookiest thing of all fearing the uh, familiar you know the familiar in large quantities oh look it's uh it's a spook i guess is that head gonna come off yeah i almost had it Almost had what? What did I almost have? You want to explain that one? What's this fucking 1970s title card for a, a Miami-based crime drama? What's this all about? 
press a button to continue, shall we? I might have to. I might have to pump up the volume a little bit here. Oh, we're actually. <laughs> hmm. I've never had this problem with a video game before. Normally they're absurdly loud. I'm not used to having one being absurdly quiet. I'll, I'll turn up your volume at least. I'll make it better for you guys. Hang on. That should help. Am I an actor? I'm acting. Don't you worry. I'm going to get my gramophone going. Okay, that seemed to be some sort of... Some sort of test, you might say. I, I'm assuming we're going to... This is going to be a mechanic. We're going to find different uh, things we can put in these and they'll give us hints or something. I don't know. But that was just to indicate... Metronome. That's not necessary. Okay, build the character. Connect the memories, dreams and fears. Prepare for the big role. Act. Is this is this a hangman? Am I meant to... Oh, character. Yeah, that says character. That's, that's what that word is. C-H-A-R-A... Actually, if it was, shouldn't the A and the C be filled in since we've already guessed A and C correctly? That's not how this game works. What's this? Daily Dispatch Telegram. Hope you settled in all right. Remember that we talked about focus on what you do best. Go to that special place of yours. Find your motivation. Build the character. Trust me, it'll be worth it. I tried to keep in touch. Travel safe. Your friend and agent. Who apparently has no name. So I'm an actor, evidently, that seems to be the thing. I'm an actor aboard a ship of some sort, possibly possibly a uh, on-board entertainment sort of deal. And it seems like I was having tr trouble getting in character. That's what we've established so far. I flushed the toilet. I turned on the taps. That's good water. That water looks good. Water is a thing that is always super dodgy looking and we just sort of accept it in video games. We've got to the point now where we just assume water is always going to look weird but they do seem to be making strides recently honestly. There's a lot of, been a lot of water based improvement recently so good job to all the developers who did good water. Can't go over there apparently. This rope is too powerful to just to keep me from getting in there. Suppresses me nicely with its powerful ropage. What is this thing? I missed this completely. Is it going to be a... Are we not done? Do we need to go in further? Oh, it's like a, slides th a set of slides. Okay. We have no more slides to look at, so... Not massively helpful right now. Where do we go then? What do we do? Oh, there's a note. Haha. <laughs> so long I have struggled to finish what was started. I had nearly lost hope, and yet here we are. Here we are. It's a very elaborate chandelier, isn't it? It's also like balconies above me. I assume this was like my private quarters, considering there's a bed like here, and it'll be really weird to have people be able to see me here, but how many people have like a full ass corridor? Can I go up there? Oh, I can. Okay. Suddenly my uh, my problem is solved. I assume that ladder wasn't climbable. I played too many games with unclimbable ladders recently. Oh, this is nice. This is pleasant. Staring at the Ocean Simulator 2021. Not quite 2021 yet, actually. I, I'm getting ahead of myself there. You'll have to forgive me. Once again, me and time, we don't really understand each other. Also, I think this game came out last year, so it should be 2019, but... Uh, don't judge me. Please stop judging me. I feel like this game's gonna do that a lot. 
I feel like I'm going to be thoroughly judged by this game. It's going to put me in my place. It seems like it's going to be like a collectible area, right? We're going to get pictures hanging up in these slots. We're going to get possible books or something on these pedestals as we unlock them. Obviously, we're going to have the slides to look at, the, 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 the audio to play. We're getting lots of things that we can collect here, it seems, but... I don't know what this means for me right now. This is a recording booth, apparently. I didn't notice that sign above it before. Recording. Recording. There's... I think this game's already defeated me. I think I've already been stopped by it. It's not like... Press start, to, not start, space to do that, but that's not super helpful. I was thinking if we could like flip things, look on the back, see if there's something on the back of any of these, but... Is this the game? Is this the whole game? Is it just this room? Is this all we get? Does the metronome have to be on before we can... Did I not turn this for long enough? Testing, one, two, three. 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 Well, game over, I guess. Thanks for watching this this epic Let's Play. It seems we've seen all this game has to offer. There is uh, nothing more for anyone at this juncture. Yeah, this 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 is all. This is Layers of Fear too. An enjoyable experience for the whole family. If if all you really want is a single room simulator, I feel like this is relevant, right? Build the character, connect the memories, dreams and fears, prepare for the big role. That's what it's telling me. That's what I'm getting. And then we got this, which needs filling in, and is obviously character, but... But how do we do it? There's nothing at any of these increments secretly, is there? Nope. Okay. The ticking metronome isn't really achieving much. Back upstairs, maybe? What the fuck? Am I really, am I really this dumb? Am I really this much of a fucking idiot? There's, there's a door here. There's, there's, there's a door here. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Esteemed Traveller, the room has been set up as per your request. The reel was delivered shortly before your departure. We wish you a fulfilling journey. Respectfully, Icarus Transatlantic. If I were you, I'd stop watching now, because if I can't find the first door we have to go through to progress the game, this is only going to go downhill from here. Problem solving, clearly not my strong point. I did that. Oh, I think I just got a, a, a cassette reel thing. Do we put it in here? We do put it in here. Alright, sweet, we're doing stuff. Look, progress! Progress, guys! As an actor. He observes the others. While the others watch him. I guess that's an actor. He's expected to behave properly. That's everybody. Wandering through worlds that aren't really there. I guess you could call that an actor too. On masks and adjusts accordingly. Each mask is a character. Each character a layer. Layers upon layers. Oh, like the, the name of the game. Out to him. He must build the character he was meant to portray. Uh huh. Or lose himself. In the music. Completely. The moment. You own it. Submerged. 
tightly surrounded by lives he's never lived. Very poetic way of talking about an actor, but all you're really doing is telling me what an actor is, and I, I think I'm familiar with the concept. He stands on mm -hmm. a stage where every man must play a part. Define must. And his is a sad one. All right. Okay. The Unmooring Act 1. Has something changed now? Are we in a different place? Are we... Ooh, what's this? Build the character, preparation, explore, who am I, where am I? It seems like an experienced actor shouldn't really need notes like this. I think they, they understand the, the, the basic concepts of creating a character. No? Look how, like, impressively realistic that leather is. Look at that. You gotta hand it to him. Good visuals on this game. Good visuals. This isn't where we came in from. Alright. Good to know. Exciting times. I got donuts. I got a whole lot of pears. This is great. Esteemed traveller, as per the director's request, this section of the ship has been closed off to all passengers and crew. We wish you a pleasant and fulfilling day. Icarus Atlantic. So when does the boat sink? We know that's a thing. We're aware of the concept of sinking boat. When does it happen? That's locked. Got a little, uh, little decanter with nothing in it. Some distant whispering. I'm not that ugly. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, I slept okay. I slept okay. Not the best night's sleep I ever had, but it was. It, it'll do. It provided me with the energy I needed to see myself through to the, the following night. Nothing good going on with the piano. Okay. What about this room then? You know, as long as this this game doesn't have a giant fucking off-putting portrait that we keep coming back to and keeps looking at me in, in scary ways, I'm going to be fine with it. Anything else this game can do is not going to scare me as much as that one picture that never moved and was never a threat in the first game, but was still just constantly unsettling. I think it's a real picture as well. It's like a real one that actually exists, and it's, it's super upsetting. I don't know why anyone would ever like that or want it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't help you there. You uh, maybe should go play the first one. A little, uh, little Unreal Engine mannequin on the table there. <laughs> Hello there. Listen, once you get there, just do what you have to do. Get to the set and build this character for him. That's all that matters. Reattaching the knees, you mean? That's how you build that character. Put his legs back on, don't you? Uh, this door? Oh, we can go outside. Having access to an outdoors, even though obviously we are still very much stranded in the middle of nowhere, really sort of takes the edge off a bit, I find, in horror games. I feel like claustrophobia or general like that feeling of being trapped of being locked inside somewhere is always like a big player in the atmosphere me able to come out here and clear my head i don't know i think that that is likely to detract from it i guess we'll find out as we play won't we maybe i'll be wrong what is this is this the engine room is this where the engine is? These all look like uh, pretty industrial bits and pieces around here. Oh, it's okay. We can go back out into the nice place again now. Where all the nice stuff is. 
some nice stuff for me, like this. Yeah, yeah. I know you've told me a million times how much you hate the sea. And I'm telling you, this gig is just too good to pass up. Okay, so I'm an actor who doesn't like the sea. I can relate to that, I'm not a big fan of it myself. Oop. But obviously I'm getting paid large amounts of money to be here, so... Alright. Uh-oh, I did it wrong. Open. Oh, I need to do this. Okay, fair enough. I understand now. And then I do that. And then I do that. And nothing bad has ever happened in an elevator in a video game, so I'm sure this will be fine. Can I? Oh, I can't open it while we're moving. That's a shame. Hey, look, something bad just happened in an elevator in a video game. Like the ominous red lights as well. Just make it a little bit more dramatic. Oh, we're going again. Okay. There's only a, a brief moment of, uh, of tension there. It passed on much like I will as soon as I run into a monster. Hmm. Oh, hang on. There's a thing there. I see you, thing. Oh, it's a door. Oh. Well, it's not a door I currently have access to. Currently have access to. There's a lot of whispering and clanging in the background. Oh, third class passengers this way, please. That's me, I'm a third class passenger through and through. This time. I swear to God, if we find any stowaways again, you'll never set foot on a ship again. Well, there's no one on the fucking ship, so, you know, a stowaway will be quite nice, actually. Someone to have a little chat with. Something... I th did I miss something spooky then? There was a music cue, but I was looking in the wrong direction. I do that a lot in horror games, I find. I just miss the spookies. Oh. Anything in here? Is there a Narnia? Nope. Some very fancy trousers, though. For a very fancy man. In an unprecedented move, the director decided to shoot his next motion picture aboard an ocean liner travelling across the Atlantic. Oh, so we're recording a film. I thought it would be like a like a an in-house entertainment thing, an onboard entertainment thing, which I think I already mentioned. I think I'm just talking myself in circles now. But yeah, we'd be, be performing like a theatre performance or something. I didn't realise we were recording. Plot details are kept under wraps, but our trusted sources claim that the project has found its star... Me! An obvious choice perhaps given the star's fabled career and numerous critically acclaimed roles. It seems that the recent worrying rumours as to the artist's personal life have not dissuaded the director. Of course I have problems with my personal life. Of course I do. I am the protagonist in a horror game. I probably killed my wife or something. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. Okay. Hmm. 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 <laughs> All right. Onwards and upwards, I suppose. Keep doing the big explore. Keep doing the big progress. See what the world has to offer me. From security office to chief security officer. I feel like there would be names involved there, but whatever. The new procedures have come into force as of next week. The company holds you personally responsible for enforcing them. Prepare all of the guards for detailed briefings. As you are well aware, there have been prior incidents of unwanted individuals making their way aboard the vessel. We must ensure this does not happen again. Ensure all stowaways will not be tolerated. I assume that thing we heard earlier was the voice of this man telling his uh, his underlings the voice of the chief security officer telling his underlings to behave don't allow any more stowaways on board stowaways are bad you know they're a real bad thing how do you have a pipe with water in it when you're on a boat there's water everywhere nerd what do you need more water for ah key picking that up's going to do something let's not do that until we've played with everything else we all know that picking up keys in horror games triggers horrible things to happen every time without fail. Let's see it then. Hmm. 
No? Oh, I'm trapped. I'm defeated by this little door. There we go. <laughs> Is this for this room? Yeah, okay. What's going to be in here then? Look at me! Look at me doing a big crouch. My knees bend real good. I can get under anything. <gasps> Walking stick. Self-defense weapon. Never met the guy in person, but few people have. That's why you hear all these rumors about him being broken or disfigured. All that nonsense. Are they? Oh, they're probably talking about the director, right? I assume they were talking about me because obviously I seem to be like a aloof actor type. But the fact that I'm an actor, everyone would know that I'm not disfigured, right? Oh, oh, it's a mouse. It's a little squeaker. He's strong. He can close a whole door all by himself. Good going, Mr. Mouse. What was he? What was he after in here? Do you just want a teacup to take home? Or maybe this rug? This rug looks quite expensive. Maybe you wanted to decorate? Hmm. I guess this way then. We go downwards into the bowels, into the depths, into whatever lies at the bottom of this horror show. Look, a hammer! So many things I could use to defend myself. Given the spookiness of the situation. But no. I have no need for such things. Such trivialities. Headphones! Put them on. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Uh, mm-hmm. It's SOS, right? I think I got that right. I assume we did what we came for here. We triggered a, a scary spooky somewhere. Is this a different place? Have I been... Has it done that thing where the... Where everything changes when you go in a room? It has, hasn't it? This is all new. Hmm. Uh... Slide! Give it! I'll look at that when I get back to my room. Whenever that is. I mean, the, there's no logical sort of architecture to this ship. There's no way of knowing if I will ever return to my room again. That ajar door is clearly up to... Hold up. Hold up a second. I came in through here. I came in through this wall. How did I do that? Oh, you crafty video game with your crazy architecture. This is what horror is all about. Just walking in circles. A performance for the ages. Acting if done well is a scary business. It takes immense courage to lose consciousness of your own self and not just reenact but become the character you are portraying. Few can muster that kind of courage. And yet it happens to which after last night's visit to the majestic theatre I can personally attest. As my regular readers know all too well, I am careful with words and not the easiest cr critic to please. Having said that, the play's lead performance left me speechless. Utterly fearless, the acting by me, nothing short of transcendence. It was as if the person on stage dissolved before my very eyes, letting the character burst into existence. I keep assuming I'm the actor, but I don't actually know this, to be fair. That might be one assumption too many. It's entirely possible that I could just be someone who is else who is on board the ship and has been to the actors' quarters. Okay, what's the spooky ajar door going to do? No, okay. All right, that one got me. That one got me. I can't believe I'm jump-scaring at the, the simple shit. That's really depressing. The real scary shit's probably not going to get me after this. 
I'm just going to get wound up by a few slamming doors and running rats. Hmm. Okay. What's the other door all about then? Is it going to be locked or... Yeah, okay. I don't know if that's going to be something we can find a key for or if it's just irrelevant to my whole situation. Smoke. Where well, the smoke that's fire, they always say. Although I don't believe that because there is currently no fire anywhere. And this smoke appears to only exist in a single 2D plane. <laughs> just here. This is the only place. This, this, this archway here is full of smoke and the rest of the world is immune to it. Weird how that works. I was praising this game's visuals, but that has ruined my immersion Guy's for me. Got a reputation makes his actors jump through hoops before he even lets them on the set. They were talking about the director. It's supposed to be some new method of building the character. Bunch of artsy fartsy bullshit, if you ask me. Just go with it. Guy doesn't take no for an answer. Okay. Yeah, it seems like we got a, a proper... We just looped, didn't we? This is the room we just came in through. Ah, okay. Yeah, it seems like we got a bit of a, a Kubrick sort of fella here. A Hitchcock. One of those obsessive directors who, who put their uh, their actors through hell in order to get the best performances out of them or whatever. Oh, we came in from a different angle this time. We came in through the door we just we literally just went through. That's a proper twist on the looping room trope. I think it's all an act. Whoops. I mean it had already fallen off the table like twice before and presumably suffered weakness as a result of that. You can't entirely blame that on me. Hmm. Different room. Haha. -ha. Success. Look at this. We're making progress. The looping has ended. I'm certain this game will not loop any more rooms at me ever again. Oh. Oh. It's the world. What does it mean? What do you mean, world? What do you what do you do, Mr. Globe? Why is it all blue? For the play is badly cast. Ah. There's always a way. A light in the darkness. There's always a way. I saw it. I saw the spook. Don't think I didn't. It was there and then it was gone. How horrifying. See, that shit is, is straight up just less scary than that door slamming earlier. Do you remember? I remember nothing. And I never intend to remember anything either. You can't make me. I will be a foolish fool from now until the day I die. See, the, the horror having, like, a personality and a voice and a, a motive kind of makes it less scary. It makes it more, you know, personable, I guess. I don't know. That might just be my, my take on the whole thing, but... I believe in you. Who believes in me? Who said that? Someone in here? Is there someone in here who believes in me? In this big dark dark room? No? It's nice that I've got a, a fan base, honestly, but... 
if this is the best they can do, then I'm not impressed. To be fair, though, it's not, it's not a bad little little wavy interpretation of an ocean, but the, the sun's shit. That's a garbage sun. I mean, come on now. I'd rather have belief from people who are capable of drawing well, if it's all the same to you. From a proper artiste. Birdcage. Birdcages are a common thing in horror games, I find. Is there going to be a dead bird in there? No, there's going to be an eye patch. Is that an eye patch? I assume that's an eye patch. What do you want me to do with the eye patch? I could just ignore it. Look at this instead. Oh, look, pirates. That's neat. That's a good drawing. I'm wondering when the kid is going to come into it, because there's obviously something to do with a child, the fact that we keep finding child drawings. Wake up, Mr. Hardy. We've got to get out of this godforsaken prison before we rot. Now, was that part of the play or the film or whatever, or was that an actual... Bye, Birdcage. Was that an actual... Uh, something. Something that's relevant. Someone should do something about that. That sort of thing shouldn't be happening. It's a health and safety risk if I ever saw one. What now? Is this open now? Oh, looks like we need a we need a, a number. Where might we find a number? There's not anything in this wreckage, is there? Ah, six seven one. There we go. Perfect. Thank you very much, Falling Sandbag. You actually did me a solid there. I'll never judge a Falling Sandbag by its cover, cover again, honestly. I know you're only out to help me now. If I see another one, I'll be sure to fully embrace it. As the helpful individual that it no doubt will be. Mm, in here? Nope. Are we... Are we really going? Lily, I... I'm... That's Captain Baines to you, Mr. Hardy. Remember the name, Quartermaster, or I'll have you walk the plank. Okay, so there's a young girl and a younger boy, by the sounds of... Hi there. And a younger boy, by the sounds of it, and uh, they played make-believe make a lot, I guess? It's not a real person, is it? That's a mannequin, yeah. Let's pull the lever. Oh, look at this. One of those rotating stages that they use in musicals a lot. And I guess theatre in general probably, but it, it seems like more of a... a thing for a dramatic musical number than something that's going to happen a lot. Do you want me to get on board? Can I saddle up? Whee! An armchair up there. Uh, what the fuck? Why am I rotating at a different speed? I think this is just this is just a game bug. I don't think this is something specifically spooky that's trying to happen right now. I think I just I just fucked it up. Oh, look at that! What a powerful man! I feel like I was meant to be stopping that in a specific place. Yeah, we need to get the armchair. Okay, right. I understand. Like there-ish? Nope. Okay, we're close, we're close. Kinda hard to see. Was that still not good? No, it clearly wasn't, was it? Okay, fair enough.
Like there, probably. Hey! I did it! Hooray for me! Hey, it's one of his friendly sandbags again. Good to see him. Good to see him doing me a solid like that. Oh, it's an exit. Okay. Where'd your head go? What's your head doing down there, buddy? I can't be good. I can't be healthy at all. Heads belong on necks, not on floors. I speak from experience. Oh. Couple more spinny people in here. Are you two okay or are your head's gonna ping off as well? Is it these two? Remember her. I can't interact with that even though it looks like I should be able to. Oh, there we go. I did it. These images. Memories of you. They've been haunting me. And yet you cling to them. Because without me, you have nothing. I feel like, realistically, I could probably have got past the hanging dresses and not had to go through those side rooms, but... Who am I to judge the video game for its choice of blockades? Oh, look at this. The floor is giving me options, although this one is clearly a lie. And this one, uh, this one ain't much better. We've got a left or a right here. Well, X marks the spot. So what does uh, nothing mark? Nothing marks nothing. Okay. Understand. Oh. Huh? Oh, very clever video game, very clever. The old, uh, mutating corridor trick. Seen it a thousand times. You think you can just change things when I'm not looking and that will make me scared? Well, it won't. I'm very brave. I'm a very brave boy. Look, I'll even walk over to this obvious trap and pick up this I'm obvious right. thing that I'm obviously Starts meant to look at. Whole area. Looks like there's a trail we can follow. A trail? Aye. Left by fellow pirates, no doubt. To lead us to a safe harbour. I don't know if these kids are like actor as a child and his big sister. Or some stowaways on the boat. Or what. But... They're clearly something. I guess context will be provided as we progress further and further into this horror show. Oh, no crashed boy this time. If I stand here, is someone going to fly out of the wall and tackle me into the into here? Ah. This is what a bedroom looks like, is it? 10.05, break over. 10.30, last repair technician leaves the ship through the gangway on E-deck aft. 11, patrolling the... Patrolling the... Hang on. Patrolling the waterfront along the ship. 11.27, on patrol near the cargo area. Sure, sure a shadow move. Small, most likely a child. I gave chase but could not find anyone lying circled in red. 12, watch over. Okay, yeah, so the stowaways, the, the, the kids are definitely stowaways. I understand. Mm. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a record. It's a tape. It's an audio exper experience we can have when we return home. Got a few things that we can, we can look at. We've got a slide, we've got a poster, we've got a, we have an audio, but... I feel like with just a bit of elbow grease I could get this open, right? What are you pointing an invisible gun at there? I almost don't want to skip... I'm obviously going to have to go around and step through there and this is going to be super spooky when I do. But... 
Okay. All right. I'll play your game. There she is, Mr. Hardy. The fastest vessel ever built. Ready to set sail for the land of the flame. I don't see any sails. Shh. We must make our way aboard. Quietly. Maybe we don't go in there. Doesn't seem like we have much of an option. We go this way. Ooh. Ooh, we have a set. We can finally do some actoring. Hello, I am actor. I'm here to act. Oh, with the... a... Something moving down there. Were the uh, were the kids stowing away in the in in the set? Is that where they were? The fact that they keep going on about being pirates and everything that'll be interesting. I mean, obviously we're on a boat in general anyway, but the idea that they were hiding in here would be kind of I don't know. I'm just thinking about things. I'm just doing some thinking. Hypothesizing, philosophizing. Lots of other words. Expecting this dude to come alive. Can we go in here now? We can! Let me in. Let me see what lies beneath. Oh. Well, I guess we're down here for good now. It seems weird that they build this entire lower deck section. I feel like people aren't really going to see this, but hat. Avast, Mr. Hardy. Too many of them scurvy dogs to take head on. Lily, I want to go home. Quartermaster, steal yourself. Be your heart soaked in doubt, or be there a fire burning within. Where's that arrow pointing at that chalice? What does that mean? Key! Something always happens when you pick up a key in a horror game. It always happens. Fully prepared for that one. What is going to be waiting up here now though? Something is going to have changed up here. The world is on fire, I guess. The sun has come. It has. The sun is on board the ship. I didn't know that was how the sun worked, but... Hats off to it. It did a good job of uh, stowing away. The sun was the stowaway all along. Just warn everyone about it. Ring the old bell. Right. Cool. What was the point in all of that? <laughs> we got a key, but I don't know if it's... It doesn't open that. Or that. Do we just leave again now? Have we done what we came for? Can we go this way? Aha! An exit strategy, so to speak. I fully expected this to be the fucking shower scene. Sh shower scene. I cannot speak for shit. The shower scene from Psycho. Let's pull the curtain aside and there's just a screaming woman the other side. Have I been here before? Was it just the presence of a desk fan makes me believe that? Made to order. One sturdy wooden chest built entirely out of old oak with heavy iron banding, additional leather straps and growing... Uh, what? Growing? I just took this word here and moved it up here. <laughs> and carrying handles on the sides, large enough to fit a grown man. We hope you'll find our work to your satisfaction. I that was the chest that was downstairs in the uh, in the boat. The downstairs boat chest. Hey, look, we got closer. We filled in some letters. Look at us go. I don't know why we're in black and white now, by the way. I don't know what caused that, but it's uh, very upsetting. Go on, what's on the other side then? Be ready to go back to Titanic. That's the that's the line from the film, right? 
Guess I'll go back then. That's what you want me to do? How far back do you want me to go? Wait, this is already a new place. I guess we, we did it. We solved the puzzle. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. As fun as that is, the question of why sort of hangs over me. Uh oh. Oh, it's it's that room that I was looking at before, right? With the with the dude pointing the gun. At least it's the same mannequin. I don't know if it's the same room necessarily, but. Whenever I see a set piece like this and I expect something to happen and then when it doesn't happen I expect to turn around and have something happen behind me and when that doesn't happen either I get very confused by the whole system. And what does this mean? This map clearly implies something. Is X where I am now or X where I need to go? I don't know anymore. Was it always this dark down here? Well that's locked, so that's not helpful to me. Is there anything else we can do here? Well obviously there's something else we can do here, or else the game just ends here. I don't think... Why do I keep missing doors? How do I keep missing doors? They're doors. The fu I can't see shit. Do I have a flashlight? Oh, wait. Hold up. Came in through there. Okay, and we go this way. Alright. <laughs> wait. Where did the mannequins go? Oh, that's spooky. You can't just delete the mannequins when I look away from them. I'm gonna get jump scared by a mannequin, aren't I? We can all see it coming. Just get on with it already. Uh oh. I don't know what it wants me to run from. But I'm willing to commit. Open. Uh. I guess I fucked that up. It reset me. Something caught me. I don't know what. Took too long opening that door, evidently. Oh, that's a dead end. So is this. Okay, let's turn around and see what's about to catch me. Come on, where are you? I want a good look at you. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anyone. I'm confident. You can tell me how to run all you like, but that doesn't mean I'm going to. Oh, there was that map on the floor, wasn't there? Maybe that's... This is where this comes in handy. Nope, still not. Still not even slightly. I don't know what the bi big loop the loop means. I don't know what any of it means. I don't know why it told me how to run there. Ah. Okay. Alright, I think I get it now. We want to not get caught in the spotlight. That I understand. There is no monster, there's just a spotlight that we don't want to get caught in. Which is kind of underwhelming for a horror game, but I guess once again seeing the mo seeing the monster is makes the monster less scary. We've we've been over this a million times. Horror game 101 that shit. So uh 
Yeah, just having a threat that isn't that isn't quite so tangible, I guess, makes sense on some level. Then we hide in this nook, and then we go this away, and hole. Is, is this flickering light gonna... is this bad? No, this is fine. I wasn't sure if the flickering light was the same as the spotlight or not. Am I going in circles? I feel like I should be, but I'm not certain I am. Where did the flickering... oh, there's the flickering light. Okay, yeah. It is just all a big circle. We were just meant to have gone out through the hole. Which is what I suspected, but I wanted to double check anyway. Don't want to miss anything, you know? hate it if, if some of the horror wasn't fully uh, laid bare before me. Yeah? 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 There's a big door. Looks like a safe. Oh, there's a safe in the safe. That's interesting. Was there anywhere else we could have gone? There was. We'll check out the safe in the safe in a second. Let's just have a quick look at this. 10, 80, 40. That's helpful. That's really useful information, given that we just found a safe. It's nice of them to just leave that lying around like that. 10, 8, oh. Well, it's less helpful information now that it's, it's just pasted here in front of me. 10. 80. What? No? Wait. 10. That wasn't 10. <laughs> 10. Is it saying go 80 paces to the left or go 280 on the left? Which, which, what does it mean? No, oh, I guess that worked. And inside we have a seashell. In the land we've seen behind shut eyes, the one of bright shores caressed by tide, where there's no pain, no fear, no fury, no lies. There we shall stand tall, our hearts full of pride. If your dreams are bold and by no man bound, if your soul is strong, unlike any other, able to build walls or tear to the ground, then yours is this world, my little brother. I kind of thought something would happen after she finished talking. That's why I heard her out. I've been waiting for an autosave icon for a little while, by the way. I, I've been intending to wrap this video up, come back to this game soon. But uh, it's not been very forthcoming with its saving at the moment. So we just have to keep... keep. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Okay, more of this next time then. <laughs> See you guys around.